Today I'm going to be talking about my WOW African Closure Nightmare. Now I have had this hair in for about three weeks now. So my, my birthday was in the 30s. And today is the 21st, so it was three Fridays ago. So about three weeks ago. Um, and I have not, I've experienced shedding with the hair. Um, just a little bit. They're probably a couple strands a day or a couple strands every other day. Nothing too serious. Nothing that my boyfriend notices. Like, cause my last hair that I had was shedding like all over the, all over the apartment. So, um, nothing that he notices. I don't really notice it. Um, but there, there is shedding with the hair. So it's not shed free. Whatever. What I have a huge problem with is my Wow African closure like the Italian yaki straight or some shit so got that in 16 inch as I talked about in my last video I've only had this hair for about three weeks so I'm not too much understanding why it's shedding like this I was noticing whenever I first washed the hair was that there are some chunks coming out of the closure I was just you know I was just coming through it when I first got it I did co-wash it coming through there there was shedding with the closure wasn't anything that was like too too bad but i was noticing like chunks of hair coming out you know like, and i was just sitting at work like yes it was like yesterday or the day before yesterday that i was just sitting at work and i was just like adjusting and like a big ass chunk came out it came out it was like this big that big of a chunk and then i just kept doing it and like even more chunks were coming out so when i got home i was like bro what the fuck is going on so when I when I got home, like I noticed the biggest like it looks like the hair just has alopecia. Like I don't even understand it. But I'm gonna show you guys right now what I'm talking about. This hair is fucking terrible. Do not get this wild African closure. I promise you, you will regret it. Um, so this part is okay. This part is fine. Um, it's a little chunk. It's a little chunk missing right here. So I have to, you know, cover that perfectly and hope the wind doesn't blow. But it's when you get like in this area. So there's like a chunk missing right here. There's a big hole in my head right here. Um, and then what's even worse is this big ass chunk right here. So this is what I'm dealing with right now. Like this is my life. I cannot do a middle part. I can't do a middle part with this hair to save my life because I'm gonna look like a bald headed scallywag and that's not me. So um, yeah, I definitely can't do a middle part with this hair like ever, you know? It just looks like I'm just trying to cover up, do a coat comb over so I mean I can do I can still do a lot of styles with this hair um, just in this part you know I can just braid it back I can do my little pompadour thing I can put it up in a bun like I can do all that stuff with it but I can't do a middle part and that was the whole point of me having a nice little closure or just so I can do versatile things but I can't do that anymore because I have a huge ball spot in the middle of my fucking head. Do not buy a wow African closure. Yeah, just don't do that to yourself. Like I'm I'm giving you guys a follow-up review on the hair that I purchased and and it's not worth it. The Onicare is perfectly fine. It's still nice and smooth. I can comb my fingers through it. You know, there's some shedding here and there, but it's not as bad as this fucking closure. I did let you guys know that I bleached the knots. Like I said, I did bleach it with this Kaleida Colors. I left it on for about five minutes. It says 10 minutes on here, but I left it on for about five minutes because I had the, uh, the Color Charm 20 volume developer. It says to use 20 volume developer and leave it on for about 10 minutes. I left it on for a little bit less than that. Um, this is the developer that I use. Um, they were right next to each other, so I just got these two. <coughs> Jeez, and it says it lightens up to five, uh, five levels and adds neutral and beige tones. So this is what I was talking about last time. Um, 
I left it on. I followed the directions to a T. I actually left it on for a little bit less than what it said because I didn't want my closure to fall apart. But it was fine. It was fine for the first couple weeks. Yeah, this whole week this hair has just been shedding out the wazoo. Now I have a bald spot. So this is my life right now. Terrible things happen to me. I got a shitty closure. I followed the directions in bleaching the closure. I even watched tons of YouTube videos just to make sure. I was like, okay, so I should probably leave it on for a little bit less so I can be careful for some shit not to happen. I have purchased a WOW African wig before and it had a silk top closure, which that didn't shed at all, but the lace that was all, I got full lace and then silk top and the lace was shedding like fucking crazy and I should have known not to buy another lace anything from Wild African. Their silk base was not shedding when I got it. Um, it didn't have bald spots or anything like that. It was perfectly fine. So um, I definitely think their lace is maybe cheaply made or they're not knotting it correctly. I'm not sure, but um, I should have known. I don't know why. I don't know why I did this to myself. You know what? I did this to myself because I was looking for a cheap option and I should have just found the money somehow to get the Onyx closure. It's just so expensive. If you've been to the website, it's a very expensive closure, um, which is why I didn't get it. So now I'm sitting here suffering, pissed off, because I have a bald spot in my head and it looks like I have alopecia and I just, I, I can't do it. My advice is to not get this closure. And if you do get a closure from Wild African, I recommend you getting the silk closure. Um, it seems to hold up a lot better. Um, so leave a comment down below if you've experienced any issues with Wild African closures or Wild African anything. Just let me know so I can know that I'm not crazy and that this wasn't my fault. I'm like 99% sure it wasn't my fault. Just leave, leave comments down below on whether you've had you've experienced anything like this with Wild African lace closures or lace wigs or anything like that just so I can know that I'm not crazy and that this wasn't my fault but I definitely don't think it was my fault. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you guys for watching this update horror story that I have been experiencing and uh, let me know what you think. Bye! Peace, love, and blessings.